Getting you or Jojo now, uh, Jojo now, you two, you've been following me, and Mr. Biney of uh, Italy, you've been wonderful to me this season. Uh, thank you for your beautiful gift and your help. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I know God will bless you. You are all wonderful to me. Uh, I like you, I love you all for helping me to build up this channel, wonderful channel, helping promoting her life music. Today we are doing a rhythm and right hand finger picking so that we can use more than one or two fingers. Because sometimes you only use one finger thumb or the support of the first finger. So today we are, this lesson is going to be basically on the right hand, the picking, the fingers, finger picking. So that uh, sometimes you can play the bass notes together with all the strings. So let's take a look at it. Let's go to the guitar board and do the rehearsal of how to use the right hand. Okay. Uh, and I say the right hand finger. This is the right hand. Thumb, first finger, index finger, the ring finger, and the last finger. That is how it is. So one, one, two, three, four. The thumb. So this is how it is. Uh, for the first, you have to do this one with the open. Second string. Third string, fourth string, and the fifth string. So you spell from top to down and down to top. That is, I mean, the middle four strings. That is second, third, fourth, fifth, or fifth, fourth, third, second. You spell from top to down and down to top. Take your time. So thumb, first finger on the fourth string. Second finger, third string three. Then the fourth or the ring finger on the second string three. So when we play, uh, we finger a chord. That is how we, the pattern we are following. You can see, so do when we play do chord, we use the same finger, a C major here, then we play. Then we move to F. When we move to F or Fa, this is do for C. Then when we move to Fa, we play. Then back to do. Then we move to G, seventh or G. Because we want the bass note to lead the chord. So, 
go the same way the chords mm -hmm. so when we play things that you can play with your two fingers or with the plectrum because we are going to use the plectrum at the same time learn how to use the plectrum so either we use the plectrum or fingers uh, we must be able to play whatever we want to play because sometimes a uh, plectrum we use for the rhythm is not good for some reason so you have to put the plectrum down and use your fingers and sometimes uh, being fast on the guitar you need to use the plectrum so this year for the first so so when we say uh, we want you don't want to use the finger like this So that after this uh, rehearsal, you try on your hands on how to use the plectrum. So for the plectrum use, let's go to the right side before this side. And uh, this is how we hold the plectrum. Sorry, I didn't tell you how to hold the plectrum. This is how the plectrum is. If you take a look at it, you can see uh, this is how the first finger that is holding the plectrum should be. So it's like this, using this and playing like this oh. but when we want to employ this plectrum here it means the finger first finger here will be replaced by the plectrum so we have to bend 
that finger inside and replace it with the pretrum. So again, we, we normally use our fingers like this to play. So, the same way, it means this one will be replacing the finger here, like this. So, if uh, the finger is being replaced by a different object, it means the finger must go inside. So, it means you can see it's left with the plate from outside. So, you can hold it like this, you can hold it like this, even smaller. It depends on how you like or you want yours to be. Uh, there is no distance. Somebody will hold it very long, like this. Somebody will hold it middle. Somebody will hold it closer to the tip. It depends on you, the holder, with the open nose. This is how it's used. Let's take it slow. Start from down. So one top, one down, or one down, one top. So down, top, the same string. Let's go to the next string. Top, down, top, down, top, down, top, down. Then you ring it two times. Again. So. Then. After uh, you've rehearsed this for some time, we, we have to come to the board. Let's start from the neck. We start from the neck of the guitar, like this. Here, F here, the same. One, one top, one down. slowly next box box from the F sharp here then you play the same thing from 
here to here or anywhere you like then you go after playing where you want to go back then you when you finish from down to top here then you go back that then we go to the sofas that is same time if you want to use the plectrum together with the, uh, the fingers it means after using this you will employ the rest and after using these four fingers that's not all we are using the, the last one too five fingers uh, it's not easy at all it's not easy task but you need to rehearse more so because you can play it you can see I've divided the fingers for the strings one two three four five from top here to down fee thumb for the fifth string here then the first finger for the fourth string second finger for the third string, fourth finger or the ring finger for the second string, and the fifth finger or the last finger for the first string. So whenever a note comes on any of the strings that the finger is on it, the same finger will be played it. You will not employ it. So let's see, do re. This is re. Re is found on the fourth string. Mi fa still on the fourth string. So we move to the third string. La, ti, do, re, mi, fa, so. As you can see, because of the fourth string, I didn't use the thumb. 
or I can use the fork and you remove this one from it. But when this the do for the do chord, we have. So it's better to understand. your hands uh, on the right side the right fingers you must discipline them and after you do this rehearsal uh, must be well disciplined so that it will not get you into problem down so you can see Today, this is the uh, first lesson or part one of how to use the plectrum or the pick and your fingers so that you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Not only uh, use your fingers alone or all use the plectrum alone because sometimes some rhythms you will need the finger to do some things for you, the fingers itself to do some things for you and other way around when it comes to fast solos and others uh, the uh, uh, top top playing or the tenor passage you will need the plectrum to do that the finger thing uh, the fingers cannot do that so it's better to know how to use both your hand uh, your fingers and the plectrum as well so take this lesson serious because when we are moving forward to a certain solos and sukas, soccer playing like, and other things, if you don't know how to handle the plectrum, there is no way you can play it to your satisfaction or to other satisfaction. So it's better to learn how to control the plectrum and your fingers as well. Both of them are good for guitar playing. Don't choose one and leave the other because you meet it in some way. Thank you for joining me in this lesson.